Hey everyone, it's Saoirse. It has been a while. I got back from my hike in Maine a few days ago, and no, I did not manage to finish reading that Titanic book yet, so we are gonna do something else. When I returned home, I had an exciting package, and this is something that I pre-ordered a little while ago. It is Living in Color, and this is the art of Scott Hutchison. You may know him from Frightened Rabbit. I have one of my Frightened Rabbit shirts with his art on it. Um, it's a really nice collection of, um, of Scott's art because he was so talented in so many ways, more than just as a singer and songwriter. Um, he went to art school. And I think it's really lovely that his family and bandmates continue to honor him. Um, after his passing. So let's take a look at the little foreword in here. It says, Scott displayed a rare talent for painting and drawing from an early age, and I can still see him in my mind's eye sitting at our dining table, holding his pencil in that unique left-handed way, lost in his own creative world. He isn't here to tell us, but I like to hope that his art, in all its forms, while mirroring his feelings, also gave him joy, empowering him to let go and be himself at least for that moment in time. His performance on stage was often compared to a stand-up gig, and his art, even in its darkest forms, is no different, infused with touches of light, color, and Scott's very individual off-the-wall humor. Even more so now than ever before, we can look at his art and smile, laugh, or cry, because Scott was, and still is, able to help us all celebrate ourselves just as we are. So together, let us explore the pages of this beautiful book, and remember Scott, our much-loved son, brother, uncle, and friend, and be glad that he touched our lives. Um, I did a video also on, I'm looking for it on my shelf, the collection of his um, lyrics. And, oh, I see it over there. Well, anyway, it's called The Work, and I can link that video too. So, I just think it's nice they did the lyrics one, and now they've done the art one. Um, and I'll just show you a few pages that I picked out. I like this because it's a good example of how he was a songwriter and an artist, because here you have some of his lyrics together with his art. The way that he, like, I can just imagine him visualizing the songs and not just hearing them, you know what I mean? Um, to be able to see your words as they would appear on paper, uh, and also enter people's ears. It's it's a really cool way of looking at it. And look at those little teeth. I think so many forms of art go hand in hand, obviously. And then, of course, I'm very jealous of people who are good at not just one, but many forms of art. Um, and, like, people who are musicians, and they pick up five different instruments and they're just like, oh, well, they translate, you know, between each other, so it's not that hard once you know one. And I'm over here like, I can't even master piano. I like this one. I've always liked this line, God's got his dead friends round. And then, of course, the classic organs. Oh, and there's a really cool page in here where they've shown all these people who have gotten Frightened Rabbit tattoos. I mean, what a legacy. Look at that. He just has some of the coolest art I've ever seen. Just such a, a style that really speaks to me. I'm, I'm a big fan of that kind of fine line drawing style. And, um, yeah, I've always considered a Frightened Rabbit tattoo because I just love his art and his words. He did a lot of, like, he did the album art, you know, t-shirt art, all kinds of things for the band. And I've got some of the 
albums to show you, actually. Oh, now this one is sentimental to me because um, this was the first of their music that I heard, this EP. And let's see, what did he write? Artwork for Front is Inside. Cheers. So when I saw Death Cab for Cutie in 2011 in Georgia, Frightened Rabbit was the opening band, and I'd never heard of them before. And as soon as they took the stage, I think before Scott even opened his mouth, just the guitar, I was like, oh, I really like this. What is this sound I'm hearing? I really like it. And um, by the end of their set, I was hooked, and they went and signed autographs and sold their CDs and stuff before Death Cab came on, and I went and met them. That was really special. So that was their first um, CD that I got, that EP. I really love it. <laughs> I like this um, bird. Just lots of great stuff in here. Um, I think it seems like he did illustrations like commissioned for people's projects. Like there's a shirt that looks like it's sold by anthropology. I like his sketchy stuff, and then I like the the more finished stuff too. It's all good. Let's see. Oh, he did these um Christmas Christmas cards. These are great. Hope you can see all this. Hard to tell when I'm holding it in front of my face. It is a Christmas hammer. Seasonal cheer. And of course, I love this one. And then um, this section, something carries on. It's all sectioned using his lyrics in a clever way. So Something Carries On is about people who have used his art as inspiration for their own art, which I think is awesome that they included that in this book. Like, this person makes these necklaces of his symbol. Here's some, these look like embroidered postcards. And then I actually have um, a needlepoint or sorry, embroidery um, thing, which I will grab right here. This is not the same artist that's in the book, I don't think, but I just got this on Etsy. And I love that. Um, no, I don't think that's his art, but it's his words. And some of the proceeds went to something. It might have been Tiny Changes. Um, if you don't know about Tiny Changes, they are, here we go, a mental health charity that was founded after Scott passed away. And here they've taken inspiration from his art and used it for their branding. So, 
I'm not going to show you everything because you should buy it. But here are the three Frightened Rabbit albums that I have. And you can see, like, you know, in the days of digital music, we don't get the album art so much anymore, so it's really cool to have these. Here's Pedestrian Verse, and this one opens up real big. It's also got a red vinyl, which I love. And then I have the Midnight Organ Fight. And you know what? I cannot pick a favorite album, so don't ask me. It's I, I look at all of them, and I just I can't do it because each one has some of my favorite songs on it. So how am I supposed to pick? And I also have, you know, different associations. Like the time in my life when I was listening to these albums, like I remember exactly where I was when um, Painting of a Panic Attack came out and the streets that I walked while I listened to that album. Um, so, and unfortunately I don't have that one on vinyl yet, but yeah, these are just all so good. Like Living in Color is on this one and that's the name of the book and that's one of my favorite songs. The pedestrian Verse is just full of wonderful songs. I don't even know which one would be my favorite on here. Um, the Oil Slick, December's Traditions, and then Midnight Organ Fight is, of course, just an absolute classic. Um, Keep Yourself Warm, Head Rolls Off. And they did a an anniversary tour of this uh, where they played the whole album and I they didn't come anywhere really near to where I live and um, at the time I wasn't in a position to be like traveling across the country for a concert and I just really regret that I didn't I wish I had seen that show but I was very lucky to see them play three times um, when they opened for Death Cab again in Orlando um, they had their own show and they played a set at Latitude festival in England and I happened to be there so yeah I got very very lucky to see them that many times anyway pick up this book you can order it online if you want to see more of his art and let me know if you can possibly choose a frightened rabbit um, a favorite album or song and what do you think about you know combining the art of writing music and visual art. Do you have a favorite of those forms of art? Tell me your thoughts about how cool it is that he could do all of these things. Um, we're very lucky that he shared it with us. So that is it for today and hopefully I will finish that other book soon. I'm just really trying to process coming back from this massive hike. You know, it was eight days 100 miles, 104 miles, and some change, and I did um, did the 100 mile wilderness in Maine, um, which is like the last stretch of the Appalachian Trail, and then I did Katahdin, um, the last mountain on the AT, and it was really special getting to return. You know, I hadn't been to that part of the trail since my through hike five years ago. It was very, very cool, and I have a lot of thoughts about it, and I'll have to figure out some way to talk about it um, in a video that I can relate to a book. I'm thinking about rereading A Walk in the Woods by Bill Bryson and then we can link that together. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, my toenail almost fell off, so there was a lot of pain involved in the past week. And I'm very tired. I cannot seem to regain my energy, um, which is crazy because I was every day getting up at like 4 a.m. and hiking for about 12 hours, um, going to bed around 7.30, um, and now I'm just like, I'm so tired, I can't function. So anyway, 
I will see you all next time and I wish you very happy reading.